Hello and welcome to the fifth film in our Construction Details series. In it, we ask why and how a distinction is made between the works to be carried out on site by different trades. The term trades refers to the various types of works undertaken in the construction industry. They are carried out by the various groups of tradespeople present on site. It is also used, though somewhat less accurately, to describe the various types of construction workers and craftspeople who undertake these works. Bricklayers, carpenters, roofers, heating installers, drywallers and painters are just some of the trades you will find represented on site. The specific work to be carried out by each group of tradesmen and women on site is detailed in the building specifications or specs. Detailed documents compiled with meticulous precision, they list the works to be undertaken by each individual trade. Here are two pages taken from one of our building specifications. As you can see, specifications are broken down into a series of individual items. An architect's technical design drawings contain 1 to 50 and 1 to 20 scale construction drawings and 1 to 5 scale detail drawings. Construction drawings tell the various trades where specific works are to be undertaken, while 1 to 5 scale drawings provide detailed information on how they are to be carried out. Another important function of detailed drawings is to draw a distinction between the works to be carried out by each trade and the sequence of these works. This drawing shows a reinforced concrete wall, the starting point for the complex sequence of layers that go to make up a building. This work will be carried out by concrete workers and falls into the category of shell works. Carpenters then install the timber and aluminium windows in the shell openings with the corresponding metal reveal frames and toughened glass balustrade panels for the box windows. The insulation and masonry works for the natural stone facade are carried out by a specialist natural stone contractor. The drawing distinguishes this work from that carried out by the previous trades, as here at the point where the metal frames are installed. When the shell is air and watertight, the works inside the building can commence with plasterers applying the cement lime plaster to the inside of the window breast. Drywallers install the suspended plasterboard ceiling, complete with integrated curtain rails. Now the carpenters can install the interior window sills and the interior veneer particle board reveal cladding. The transition from the plastered walls and suspended plasterboard ceiling is dealt with by fitting shadow gap profiles. Painters and decorators are responsible for the finishing touches. A coat of paint on the plaster walls and plasterboard ceilings. Summary. One to five scale plans provide detailed information on how works are to be carried out. Another important function of these plans is to distinguish between the different works carried out by the various trades and the sequence in which they are to be executed. The term trades refers to the various types of works carried out by the various groups of tradespeople in the construction industry. Building specifications or specs detail the specific work to be carried out by each group of tradesmen and women on site. Why not take a look at the sixth film in our Construction Details series? In it, we discuss building tolerances and how they are shown in 1-5 to five scale detail drawings.